Hi everyone. Hi everyone. My name's Rosie and I'm a social media apprentice at Sage. I'm 18 years old, I live in Southend on Sea and I've worked here for the past six months and I can honestly say that I've loved every second of it. I'm Lucy, I'm 20, I'm based in Newcastle and I'm a people apprentice at Sage. When I left school I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do. So I went to Gateshead College and studied business studies for two years. Realised that I really enjoyed the HR part so I did a bit more research into it and applied for HR course in uni. So I got accepted for it but I realised that my heart wasn't in it and I didn't want to go to uni. So I looked for apprenticeships and I found Sage and it literally ticked all the boxes for me. So I quickly applied for it and I luckily got accepted for the role. So I've been in my current role for just over two years now. I started as a level three apprentice doing my CIPD and I decided that I wanted to carry on expanding my knowledge in HR. So I've just recently started my level five and I'm really enjoying it so far. So my name is Sam Hutchins. I am one of the new global security apprentices at Sage. The onboarding experience virtually has been kind of strange. It's manageable is what I'd say. Sage have been really welcoming about it. So as you can see behind me, I'm still at home. I am working virtually. My interview process is all virtual as well. And it's all just been kept to teams. In terms of what to expect really, here at Sage, they've been absolutely amazing when it comes to the pandemic. They've sent out IT kit via courier for me. Any requests for extra equipment, like a monitor, headset as well. You can just request that and they send it off to you, which is really cool. Before joining Sage as an apprentice, I was at sixth form studying for my A-levels. I was doing media, business and geography, but I just never really felt that the university route was right for me. I'm Nat, I'm 24 years old and I'm based in London. I'm on the digital marketing team and my full title is Marketing Content Operations Apprentice. The reason I decided to go for a marketing role is that I'm quite creative. There's so many different roles that you can get into here at Sage. I never saw myself working for somewhere like Sage, but here, here we are. To be honest, when I left school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I actually tried going to uni and I quit after a year because I realised it was not for me. It's really not for everyone. <laughs> you know, I worked in loads of different places. It was only this year really that I thought, you know, marketing is a good way for me to go because it can use my creativity as well as all the other skills that I've gained over the years of working. I'm 24, so take your time, <laughs> explore your options. If I'd known more about the options outside of university, I definitely would have gone for an apprenticeship long before now and I'm really glad that I discovered Sage when I did. I'm Abs, I'm 16 and I'm a technical support apprentice at Sage. I'm based in Newcastle and I've not long left school myself so I totally understand what the situation that you're in. I recently just got my GCSEs and I haven't actually even seen the officers yet because of Covid so I've been working from home since October. My day usually consists of my morning huddle where we discuss our goals and achievements for the previous day. Then I'll usually take some calls or do some web chats and then do some form of training on the afternoon sometimes. And I also like to catch up with everyone at lunchtime and just make sure that everyone's doing okay while we're working from home. My name's Cameron, I'm 17 and I'm from Gated. I've been doing a technical support apprenticeship at Sage for the last few months. So after I left school, I didn't really know what I was going to do. It was either go to college with one of my best mates or do sport at Gator College. Uh, so I had done a year of sport at Gator College, which I found quite fun. I thought it was really good at sport. What do we went to work is pretty standard, as you can see. He has me rocking the Sage hoodie with a pair of black joggers, which is why I normally went to work. Look at that pose, brilliant. So my lunch either consists of a festive bake, a steak and cheese from Subway, or a Savoy dip from Dixon's, which are all gorgeous. After I've had my lunch, I normally browse the internet or watch funny videos on YouTube. Throughout my apprenticeship, I've had two stages. I've had uh, the training side. Uh, the trainer was Paddy. Uh, it was great help during that time. And now that I'm online, my coach is called Gareth. Um, he's also great help. Uh, for our training, it's all about learning your role and the stuff you're going to be dealing with when on calls in my part of the business. The coach is there to help you while you're doing the calls and learning the trade. In training, we've done a few things to get to know each other. The first one was a Kahoot, and we used to do Kahoots quite often to learn and get to know each other. We also did some stuff about each other's lives and what people do in their spare time. I hope you've enjoyed this little video, and I hope to see some of you at the Sage offices in Newcastle very soon. 
Hi everyone, I'm Tony. I'm 20 and I work in the North Park office of Sage. I started Sage when I was 18 as a customer service apprentice and I've recently just finished that in June. So I've been through the whole motions of it now and got a full-time role. I basically had no background in the sort of things Sage do at all while at school. Um, I only, I worked in Weatherspoon, so I had a bit of a customer service background, but not much on IT. But I basically, I didn't have a clue what I wanted to do when I leave sixth form. I just knew I didn't want to go to university and I just wanted to like go into a job straight away and make money. So I like business and I did do a little bit of the IT in school and then I saw Sage and thought that, that would be perfect for me. So when I go into the office, I usually wear a pair of jeans, some boots, a smart casual top. If it's a Friday though, it's a bit more casual. But when I've been working from home, I've been wearing a bit more casual stuff. So what I usually do for lunch when I'm working from home, I always try and go for a walk, even if it's just a half hour walk, uh, just to get out the house and get some separation from my desk. And when I'm at work, I try and get away from my desk again, uh, even if it's just going downstairs and grabbing some food or having a little walk with uh, a colleague or just going to catch up with another colleague. And in Sage, you can turn to anyone for support. The highlights of this entire process really I'd say was on boarding week. So there's four apprentices joining London Bridge this year and I'm one of them. So we were doing an icebreaker amongst all of us and one of the questions I think it was would you rather, it was something like would you rather have a nose for ears or ears for a nose? It, it was just wild, there were so many other questions along those tracks. Um, but truthfully, it's been a really enjoyable experience because I've been having the balance working from home as well. And I'm having to kind of establish where the baseline is for a good work-life balance, which to be fair, that Sage are really great at maintaining that. In my first week, I got told off for not taking a break. It's just meeting up with people that I'm looking forward to really, to getting to know everyone in my team. And yeah, so if you do go into a full-time job, during the pandemic, then best of luck. Um, got a bit of a challenge ahead of you, but I'm sure it's nothing that you can't handle. I mean, after all, I'm doing it and it's my first full-time job. What do I wear to work? Big jumpers and trackies. Comfort over style when you're working from home. To be honest, I spend all day drinking tea and snacking. Though my favorite lunch is probably cheese on toast. I can have that any time. Like that's the problem with working from home. The fridge is yeah. I've only worked from home so far, so I'm looking forward to being able to explore my little cafes nearby. Everyone on my team has been so supportive, you know, even though it's been really weird and difficult to start a new job from home and not meet anyone, everyone's made such a huge effort to make sure that I felt welcome and comfortable with everything. It's not just my team either, it's everyone at Sage. Shout out to Vicky. I've been with Vicky since day one, since my interview on Teams. She's made me feel really supported all the way through. She hasn't left my side, but she's... <laughs> so thank you, Vicky. And thank you, everyone at Sage, to be honest, because this has been a really good experience so far. It's terrifying to start with, but everyone's made it really lovely and as easy as it could be. Yeah, I think that sums up my Sage experience so far. I found on board and virtually actually okay to be honest. It wasn't ideal and I thought it would be a lot worse than what it was, but Sage was so supportive and considering it was my first job, I was so, so nervous that I wasn't going to get that support. But Sage were totally there for us and honestly the family culture at Sage is literally like my favourite part about working here. Everyone is so close knit and so nice to each other and everyone's just there for each other. Like it really, really is like a little family. I'm just going to go through some like fun stuff. So what do I wear when I'm in the office um, and what do I wear when working from home? So when I'm in the office, it's, it's like small casual. So maybe like a pair of jeans and a blouse or like jeans and a hoodie. It just depends what, what I'm feeling that day. But at home, it's just like leggings and a jumper every day or sometimes just my pajamas. If I, I'm in a meeting, I try to dress up a little bit and look a bit more presentable, but it's just about comfort from working from home. What do I do for lunch? When I'm in the office, I might get like fish and chips on a Friday or take my own um, stuff, but there's loads of stuff you can buy. But from working from home, I'm quite bad. I might just like order like a Domino's on my lunch or like eat t like takeaway from the night before. So that definitely needs to improve. But yeah, so another thing is who can I turn to for support if I need it? Any support at Sage, absolutely anyone that the, the support will get absolutely endless. Um, I remember being quite scared when I started as an apprentice, but the amount of support you get 
it's it's second and on it's amazing but yeah it's just such a fun place to work and i've really really enjoyed the two years i've been here and I'm, I'm, i think i've got quite a, a bright future there so yeah Kerry Sinclair. I'm based in Newcastle. I went to Walker School in the east end of Newcastle and I joined Sage straight out of school as an apprentice back in 1987, so too long ago to remember really. And I currently look after the IT for the Sage Group across the whole of the world. When I joined, coming from school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. It was a really exciting place to be. When I came for the interview, I could tell it was somewhere I wanted to work and I've never needed to leave since. Worked in most departments, so I've managed to gain a huge amount of experience from that journey. The great thing about Sage is there's such a diverse range of roles to look at. You know, you can start your career in one area and end up in another. I never imagined I would end up in IT, if I'm honest, back then when I'm thinking of my 17 year old self. For me, apprentices add loads of value to what we do at Sage. They always bring new thinking, fresh ideas, and you know, help us think about how we need to do things differently especially in the realms of new technologies in my particular area. For example, the apprentices that I work with, they're using some really new cool tech and we've launched a mobile application that's going to help our colleagues to be able to book in and move back into the office when we are able to with the COVID situation. What apprentices do is help us really question how we're doing things and why we're doing it that way and bring that fresh thinking. So I love it when we've got a new intake of apprentices and graduates. The Newcastle office, it's always a really fun place to be. There's a huge amount of people, so it's got quite a family vibe. Everybody's really welcoming and there's always something going on for people to get, you know, their teeth stuck into. We like to socialise as well. So, you know, I'm sure you'll hear things about the Christmas parties and the different elements that we, we bring to the teams to help them stay connected. The other awesome thing about Sage is our Sage Foundation. So the foundation is a way that we can all give back some of our time and invest five days a year to be able to donate it to specific causes, whether that means going and working at a local food bank or maybe running a marathon and raising money. We, we've got loads of exciting things that we, we connect with around that. And in the Newcastle office, the foundation's really vibrant. So it would be great to welcome some of you, I'm sure, to the teams in the coming months and years. Thank you.